going to get nothing is going to get um, taken care of by us going to the voting booth right now. A because we're unaware of what we're voting for. Um, it's the knowledge. If you want uh, to persuade people to vote and you want to persuade people to do so, that's fine. But let's start at the root of the problem. Don't just tell people to vote because A, B, and C. You know, no vote because you know t we got we gotta re restart everything. We gotta understand our laws. We gotta understand legislation. You know how all of these things work. These people, these backgrounds, our funds, and they go right back to the reason that we doing the things that we doing now. Uh, we focus on um, finances, the way the world work. Why black folks out here fucked up and we ain't got no voice or nothing? Because we ain't got no money. Don't nobody give a damn about our issues because we don't put money up for them. We're not knowledgeable about who, who to vote, why to vote. You know, so just, just going back out into the world and telling people to vote is the wrong damn answer to me. Like, that's not what we need to be focusing on. We need to get to the heart of the people and just people in general. We're not getting to the heart of the issue. We're not doing nothing that's going to really, really be meaningful and that's going to make a change and make a difference because we're running around in damn circles doing the same shit that, I, that done got us nowhere, you know, for the past since forever. They're not going to reach more people than us because they heart not there. You know what I mean? People smell bullshit for sure. You know what I mean? That's why it's so hard to reach to a lot of these kids because these people coming from, you know, they coming from upstairs, yelling downstairs. You know, yeah, no, no, no. There ain't nobody going, knocking on no damn doors, telling people, you know, showing people that they actually here for them, doing stuff to actually show the heart. You know what I mean? Everybody extending the hand, ain't nobody never extending the heart. You know, that's the problem with us. So my thing right now, do exactly what um, we originally started doing, man. Getting out here, hitting the streets. Um, starting these street campaigns, um, getting people familiar uh, with our message and the things that we doing. Go hard, you know what I mean? We it's, it's just time to go hard at this now. You know, we talk about treating this like it's ours, treating it like it's a business. Um, that's where we got to be with this. We understand the hope is gone, the love is gone, respect is gone. All of these things are gone. It's starting a movement, you know what I mean? We see, we see it, it's like it's, this generation is moving into a different cycle. So it's, it's very, very, uh, the, the chances of us reaching people now opposed to maybe five or ten years ago is, is 110%, um, you know, more realistic. You know, people are waking up to the fact of the way we lived, our, our conditions. I mean, we looking at Detroit right now, we downtown and you riding around and you seeing the gentrification around here. We see it. We're like, we're like, we see what's going on. We understand what we have. What's going on with us? It's like, it's coming back around to everybody like, damn, we are all black again. You know what I mean? Everybody is looking like, you know, uh, we understand where we are as people. Um, once again, it was like lost for the past um, 20 years or so. Um, but we getting that ideal again. Um, and, it's, and, it's, and it's time to go hard. It's just like, you know, um, we just listened to the Kendrick album. Um, it's, it's it's there, you know what I mean? Like when when do music like that come out? You know what I mean? When when do people think like that anymore? You know what I mean? It's people starting to wake up to the things that we need to do um, to create a uh, period for ourselves, not better, but period. We ain't created shit. We in the same boat that we was in 150 years ago economically. We own the exact same amount of. Uh, this country as we own back in 1860 we make no financial progress we the biggest consumers zero producers um you know the ghettos is the only shit and the hoods are is the only things that's not growing we're not growing at all and we know this that's our message that's what we push you know it's raising that awareness and then the ultimate goal is while we're raising this awareness we handling our business um within the organization um you know we we making sure that we come and correct with uh, our plans as far as finding these areas and locations um, and then it's just dealing with uh, investors you know we, we get the word out we make our our mouths and our voices heard you know to the things that we're doing you know that's all it is it's just it's footwork it's it's, it's who gonna go the hardest is gonna get heard you know and it's, it has to be a, a, um, a unresistance um, <clears throat> to not being heard you know, I'm, I'm talking about hitting the streets I want everybody to know what New Era is doing. I want everybody to know that we give a damn. I want everybody to understand the movement. I want everybody ass on board at the end of the day because we all got to be on board.
Um, it's going to be a lot of devils and a lot of demons that's going to be trying to uh, stop our uh, progression as we have already seen. We have been through a lot, um, you know, in the, in the time that we've been doing this. Um, so it's nothing new. You know, this is just, it should be more and more like Don say, you know what I mean, breakfast. Gunshots to the block, the fuck stops. Niggas was calling cops, people shot, nobody stopped. I wonder when the world stopped. Came in last night, you get shot. Why the whole block staring? I will never understand this society. But they try to make